I, I don't really have to look at my hot bar. Like, see, I can fucking hit all my buttons and shit, and I've played the game for so fucking long, I can kind of tell, like, you know, what's going on and shit. But, uh, but people were, people were asking me about, like, my hot bars and stuff. All right, so obviously I have 1 through 12 key bound here. So the way my hot bars are set up, man, they're set up in such a way that I want to look at my hot bars as little as possible. How many people, when you play this game, you're only looking at this part of your screen? I bet there's a lot of you motherfuckers that only look at this part of the screen. So here is how I set up my hot bars. The first thing I would recommend, the first thing I would recommend is you get yourself an MMO mouse. What is an MMO mouse? It's one of these mice that have 12 fucking buttons on the side. Now you don't have to get one of these. This is just what I recommend, okay? If if I were to suggest something, it would be this. It doesn't have to be this this Naga. It can be a Naga, it can be a Scimitar. Uh, a lot of people like the G600, the G600 Logitech, okay? It can also be a controller. Controller's fine too, but I would recommend getting one of those. Here is what I recommend you not doing. If you're doing this, you're fucking up. You're doing it wrong if you're doing this. Oh my god, this is this is so fucking oh my god. This is so fucking If you're doing this, you're fucking up, okay? I don't even want to do that anymore. I don't even want to do that anymore. I don't want to put you guys through that 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 shit anymore. Yo, have you ever have, have you ever watched a stream where hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is it at, dude? Where is it at? I don't know why, but every time you hover over something with this hand, it, I I like read I I read the the text out as a yell voice. Maximum! Like every time. That's dude, that's oh my lord. I didn't even know you could do that. Okay, anyway. So, so look, man, in all seriousness, okay, I'm my key bound set to 1 through 12, all right? And then I have my second, my secondary bar here is control 1 through 12. And then my top bar is, 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 is alt. But you can do it like shift or, you know, however you want, really. I mean, my, my like push to talk is shift. Uh, so that's why I don't use shift, but shift's fine too. Uh, you can use shift. Wait, 1 through 12? How big are my hands? Well, my hands are actually kind of small for a guy, dude. My hands are kind of small, dude. I got little girly, bitchy, bony hands, dude, you know? But, um, so I don't have big man claws. But, like I said, man, this is why you need to get a mouse. Okay? 1 through 12 on the mouse. All right? Now, these are just some suggestions. You can use any or all of these. It doesn't matter. Or none of them. It doesn't matter. Basically, my, like, go-to buttons are 4, 5, and 6. Because where my where my thumb rests on the mouse, pretty uh, a, a vast majority of my thumb is actually across four, across four. So the easiest buttons for me to hit are four, five, and six. Depending on the size of your hand, you know, one, one, two, and three might be might might be better, or seven, eight, nine. Just really depends, like you know. So like the reason why I wanted to talk about this today is because there's a lot of new players coming to the game, and. Because this is not a macro game in the sense that like all of your buttons are like key bound, right? Like you have to key bind all your shit. You're gonna have like your like depending on your job, your hot bar is gonna be full. You know? It's gonna be really full. So, like like I said, to give you an example, to give you an example of, of mine, on all of my tanking jobs, I have basically the same concept for all my buttons. So, what do I mean by that? I mean that 4, 5, and 6 is the basic combo on every single job. So, for Gunbreaker, it's Solid Barrel. For Dark Knight, it's Soul Eater. For Paladin, it's Royal Authority. For Warrior, it's Storm's Eye. So, doing it this way, doing it this way means that I don't really have to think. I don't really have to think about doing my basic combo. I also have my Provoke on the same button for every single job. And I have all my cooldowns on the same buttons. So Rampart is always Alt-2. The 30% is always Alt-1. The, like the more, it's like the more personal cooldown. So like the more, uh, 
uh, the, the job specific cooldown. So like Camouflage, Dark Mind, Sheltron, we're on Tuition. It's always Alt 3. Reprisal is always Alt, alt 4. Uh, my DPS buff or steroid is always Alt 5. Now, obviously, this works for this expansion, okay? This works for this expansion. So basically, it doesn't matter what tank I play, just these basic rules. I already have a vast majority of my abilities already mapped out. Like my arm's length is always here. My shirk is always here. I don't know why the fuck shield bash is on my hotbar. I'm fucking memeing myself. This, this will help you, all right? This will help you out a lot because it will help you not look just right here. Like all the times that I greed and shit, I basically, all of the times that I greed, I need to be able to see the bosses like AOE and stuff. And, but at the same time, I need to, like basically a majority of where I look actually is right here. This is where I look. And the reason why I look right here is because when I look right here, my, like out of my peripheral vision or whatever, like out of like, like, right, like, man, I'm fucking doing this like you guys can see. God damn it, I'm so stupid. Anyway, I look right here. I'm just gonna draw on the screen. We're drawing on the screen. Here we go, here we go. You guys ready for this? You guys ready for this? We're drawing on the screen. I'm looking right, right here. Okay, this is the majority of like where I'm looking, okay? Now, when I look right here, basically I can see without moving my eyes, I can see like that and like that before I really start to lose focus up here. Like I can kind of see up here, but basically I can see like right here perfectly and like right here perfectly, okay? Wow, staring at the screen really makes me, okay. But anyway, right here is important, okay? Right, right, right here is important, shit. And the reason why, um, the reason why that right here is, is important is because I need to be able to see my GCD timer. Okay, so what do I mean by GCD timer? Okay, so you have this box, all right? So when you hit your GCD, there's gonna be a dotted line, okay? So I need to be able to see this. I need to be able to see when it turns like that. Okay, that's 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 really important. Uh, because I need to be able, so like right now, for example, you know, uh, like, this like this line right here right like this line right here you need to be able to see like where this is coming from now obviously this is just the way i play this is where i look you don't have to look right here you don't have to do any of this shit. people just ask so i'm so i'm letting you guys know because this stuff has helped me and it's really important so the reason why you want to look at this like bar like this box here okay is because you need to line your GCD up with like mechanics and shit, right? And you also need to line your GCD up with how you hit off GCDs. So obviously the first half, so let's like look at the box, split the GCD down. This is, this is the first, this is the first off GCD and this is the second, okay? Now obviously you can push this you can push this to, depending on your ping and depending on your connection, okay? So what I mean by that is, it can actually look something like this. Sometimes you can hit the GCD as late as right here. So this, this whole box right here is first and this little box is second, okay? So let me show you. Now, if you watch down here, I'm going to hit an off GCD 75% through my GCD, and I'm not going to clip. So here's my first one. See that? I didn't clip. That's because my ping is, like, pretty good. Yeah, so so basically, that's when you want to use your, your off GCDs and shit. Um, but uh, anyway... What I was talking about was like, when I look like right around here, I normally look like right around here because this lets me see what's going on up here, basically. But it also lets me see what's going on right here. So basically, instead of, instead of like my focus, instead of my focus only being right here in this blue box,
instead of my focus only being in this blue box, I basically took this, I took this box and I just moved it up a little bit. So now, so now because I'm looking right here, I can see my GCD stuff and I can also see the mechanics too. All right. Now, obviously this isn't going to, this isn't going to work for everybody or whatever. You know, it's fine. People got different eyesight. I mean, it's whatever, you know. Um, but I'm just, but I'm just bringing it up because maybe you can find a system that works similar for you, uh, with the goal, with the point being that you're not just looking at your hot bar, because when you have to always look at your hot bar, you can't look at the mechanics, what's going on. And in this game, there's, there's mechanics that require you to actually watch the boss's animation. You have your, you have your hot bar on the side of your screen so you can see your cat girl better. Okay. That's okay. Okay. That should probably be in the guide. Yeah, I'll probably put that in the guide. Yeah, that's really good. So anyway, going back to hot bars. So this is this is this is how I use this shit, you know? And I would recommend I would, you know, my gap closer is always on the same one. Basic combo. Um Yeah, so I would recommend coming up with a system like that because it's really good. You don't have to do it exactly the way I do it, but but the point is is to use a similar concept. That's just what I'm going for. That's just the point of this, is to use a similar concept. But most importantly, what works for you?